did record. All right. <clears throat> We're going to modify this drawer and take these out. So I'm going to use the direct edit for all of this. And it's pretty simple. But even though I'm in an assembly, I can still snap those faces. Snap that face. And then <coughs> this edge and this edge. Reverse that order. I'm not changing, I'm, I'm doing a direct edit. There's really, I can't go in and modify the original geometry because this is an imported object. But you kind of see what's going on there. See that drawer part? Mm -hmm. I actually need to blow that through. So that's why I was saying, use this direct edit for just about everything. Just got to drag it through there. Hmm. And then we want to raise those up. Back to this one. And I'm going to go back in at this direct edit. See, normally that comes through there, like that. That's why I have to edit it. Snap to that. Snap. Snap through. Apply. That. Through. Apply. Now, <coughs> this I can move wherever I want. So just to make it look correct, if I gotta get in there and oops. I should grab that part. because it's not constrained anything. Right. So we're just trying to get to look. Over it. 
Yes, I did. It's gross. <clears throat> and then all I have to do is add in our dowels. I want to show you a different way to, to do this. So this is going to go 32 millimeters in the negative direction. And then off the bottom, we're going to come up. like it's minus oops <clears throat> some of this is just playing around what looks right Showing you this because you don't have these now. <clears throat> Is that the one? Yeah. So I go to my. Puts those in there like that. Let's see. Shoot the visibility of those all off. And then I use my sculpting tool. all my dowels in there for me. So instead of going through doing a 2D sketch and yep. insert eye feature and all that. Right. <coughs> just put it on a plane. Yeah. Yep, it'll insert all of them in there. But it's kind of like six one half dozen the other. When you only have to do um, the two sides, most of in the cabinets, most of the time you're just doing the two sides. Mm -hmm. That that feature works pretty good. That eye feature works pretty good. I'd like to incorporate some other process, you know, 
different ways to do that, but you gotta just have time to play with it and see how it responds. And then, you know, so people can't break it. This is, this works pretty good, but it can bog down your model. So you'd have to still go through and do the same thing where you'd have to get rid of all the other geometry that's in there, the other connecting, and then you'd have to come in and set all your planes up correctly. <coughs> why and it, why does it bog down the model? Just because there's when you put you know a hundred dollars in there, it just takes oh. a little bit to process it. You know when it's going through and sculpting all that out, it's not terrible, but um, we can do it that way. But it's got to set up the different plane configurations so you bring them in as a part basically well I was, confusing. I was i was getting into the plane selections there just 